Welcome to the third part of my video documentary on James Matthew Barry and the special relationship he had with the Davis boys. In the summer of 1901, Barry took the Davis family to his summer retreat, known as Black Lake Cottage, which lay entirely surrounded by a thick pine forest. Throughout the long days of August, as Barry introduced them to a world of pirates, Indians and wrecked islands, he and the Davis boys were inseparable. He honored them by turning the numerous photographs that he had taken of their exploits into a book, which he entitled The Boy Castaways of Black Lake Island. Barry himself called it quarter of a century later, quote, a now melancholy volume, the literary record of that summer, which is so much the best and rarest of this author's works, end quote. The pictures you are seeing right now are some of Barry's original photographs. And now I hope you enjoy the movie adaptation of that terrible summer. I salute you. Welcome to the Coral Island. Hey! Come on, we can get up here. It's not deep. Ah! Oh, well done, sir. Barry's going to kill us, you fool. <laughs> Oh, 
What are we going to do for Mary Hodgson? Let's, let's uh, dig a trap! Like those idea. ones they use in India yeah, for the tigers. We can eat her for breakfast. We'll probably be sick. She tastes like an old boot. Stop throwing it on my head. She is an old boot. <laughs> let's just make it really deep so we can cover it over and she'll fall Not in. Not too deep. We'll never be able to get her out. Just so that she trips and breaks her leg. So if I were you, I'd live here all the time. Oh, if it were me, I would. But Jim gets restless after a few days. He can't wait to get back to London. He seems quite at home to me. Oh, but he has the boys. You don't mind, do you? I mean, about the boys. No, not really. At least it takes his mind off his depressions. I try to help, but there's nothing I can do. I've been married to him seven years now. Not once have I ever even come close to finding the key. Yet they seem to have found it without even having had to look. <laughs> Captain Swarthy, you've been sentenced to walk the palonk. My dear boy, this Silence! Is... The great white father has spoken. Mother, have you cocked it? Oh. Uh, right, you ready? ready. Right, ready. Uh, back, back, you puling spawn. Perfect. I'll show you now the road to dusty death. <coughs> Cardi, Cardi, Castor! <coughs> not fair, it's not cricket! Did Sylvia mention?